Hello. 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 Go lower. Hello. 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 Oh. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid directs. I'm Corbin. I'm in Johnny. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Oh, yeah. Thank you to everybody who supports us on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter account. Subscribe if you haven't hit the like button because it helps the algorithm. Doesn't it, Androni? Yes. Okay, good. Today we're on to part two mm. of... Uh, part poop. Part two of the... Say, say it. Say it for me, please, Androni. You can read that. Again. No, that word? Rendezvous. Rendezvous. That's rendezvous? <laughs> I've literally never seen that word spelled out in my entire life. You've never seen the word rendezvous spelled out? Why no. is there a Z in it? it God, has... the English language fucking pisses me off. Well, it's because we're French. we're from other languages. Z there's no Z sound in that. It's a, don't, it's a don't, French origin. Don't get me started. Origin. I fucking hate English. Anyways, oh. rendezvous with... Say it. Simi Garewal. It should Rekha. be and Rekha, not uh, yeah, Semigarewal yeah. Rekha. Yeah. Gr yeah. Grammatically, it's entirely stupid, like rendezvous with a Z. Um, but <laughs> if you haven't seen our part one reaction, that should be spelled R O N D A Y. I hate words that have for no goddamn reason. No, there's actually a reason. No, there isn't. It's the etymology of the School. word. School. Right. Why? It's from German. It doesn't matter. Why is it there? It does not matter. Spell it how it sounds. God, it pisses me off so much. Always has. It's probably because <clears throat> my dyslexia. I'm like, it makes no sense why it's spelled that way. Anyways. Doesn't make any sense. And that's why English is one of the hardest languages to learn, because it's fucking stupid. Anyways, welcome back. If you haven't seen our part one reaction. And he calls me the old man who shouts at the sky. I literally thought that was that person's name. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I bet there is someone in the world named Rendezvous. Do you think it's spelled with a Z? Just a few babies were named COVID-19 yeah. after, you know, in the pandemic. <laughs> yeah. Or I think, yeah. Anyways. Corona and... Uh, Corona. The yeah. first part was uh, really intriguing, and then we saw some snippets of what's in this part, and really intrigued. It's very 90s Oprah-esque. Yes. Lots of... Lots of drama. Lots, Lots of, of white. Way, like, way too serious asking questions. Oh, yes. <laughs> Just deep staring into each other's eyes. Let's go. Larry King used to oh, yeah. interview oh, yeah. like that. Yeah. Larry King. Here we go. I continue Great my music. rendezvous with Rekha. You know, I've known her for decades. She's a warm and wonderful person. Wow. That was an amazing, really fast I learned so much. Person. Tonight, I also realized... That no one can oh, she look like an angel, Rekha. like the yeah. glow because behind Because the yeah. real Rekha lies somewhere in her fantasy. Odd. Ah, oh, yes. Copyrighted. Yes, take the sound out because... That's a great movie. Yeah, we understand. Jano John, right? Um, wow, you remember the name? Um, Umrah John. John. Um, no. By the 80s, you were a bona fide star. Rekha had arrived. But... Transformed. I mean, suddenly this spotty teenager of Southern Father vanished and she looks like Sife's with a magic right wand, there. this new vision appeared. Not How there. did it happen? I don't know. It just happened, I guess. I said, if there are so many people wanting to sign me and there are so many people wanting to have me in their films, I might as well do some kind of justice to it, you know? The way you developed, you, you not only started yoga, you d perfected the art of makeup. It took me about two and a half years to really, really lose that, um, you know, that bitch may binging and, you know, junk food and chocolates. And, and then slowly, I think by the time Ghar was released, hmm. that's when suddenly people had hit them. Oh, oh, she's really like overnight. It wasn't really overnight. Okay. It took about uh, two and a half years. And what went into it? Um, you know, those days we did it all the wrong way. We had no idea that... What I am today and what the knowledge that I have of food and is not what I knew then. There you went on the starvation diet. Oh, terrible. Oh, I used to have just these arimilka, you know, milk, hota, elaichi milk for months together. 
just that yeah i used to go on popcorn diets and i mean basically i used to starve which is the worst thing i to know do. and no garland hmm? judy garland it, it yeah me because it made you look great but you know but in the words of billy crystal um, it's better to look good than to feel or, good or learning makeup tricks because you know, she said you looked that. great it you worked for you what we could teach you life which still continues it didn't work. absolutely no. and these days it's a whole different ball game how did you learn to express yourself so well because the way you spoke also changed really yeah your voice changed how so you have to tell me there's a lot more refinement okay i think it's as you grow up as life thrusts upon you all the experiences good bad ugly you change but i've always been someone who only focused on the plus points did so oh. you blank out the other no i don't blank it out my energy is diverted towards just the positive, positive. there is not a negative bone in my body i know there is nothing that um, i feel bitter about you know you've always told me that i don't think i made a conscious effort to change my voice or you know put that extra bass into it or uh, i just think my bahut thehra ho gaya hai zyada did somebody guide you ghost how did you learn i am a very I, I, i didn't get that observant person and anything that fascinates me anything that impresses me I just lap it all. Was a good snap. I just lap it up for life and I just allow it to seep in and become a part of me. And that's what I did. Did you read up a lot? Are you kidding me? I have never read a book in my entire in life. your life in my entire life. Holy shit. Newspapers? Don't get me wrong. I have a whole library full of books. But they have to have pictures. <laughs> Absolutely. If they have pictures, I don't mind, you know, browsing through them. But reading, maybe I have this hang-up of school. Mm. Reading means study. Oh. <laughs> so I didn't want to ever read. What about the newspapers? Maybe she has ADHD. Never read a single newspaper in my entire life. Hi. Did you know that about her? Are you mad? You think I'm going to lap up the news? I don't think I've ever read a newspaper. All the things, and get extra, I mean, like, invite stress into my life. You keep your ears open. Listen to CNN. It's bad enough. I have never read a newspaper in my entire life. I'm not very proud of it though, but it works for me. <laughs> it certainly works for you. I must tell you this that ever read a book? Wow. There are lots of books that I know by heart. Ask me how. How? Somebody how? read it out to you. Clever girl. <laughs> for Zana. Okay. Oh, Audio books. She has ADD. I can tell. Rico, all the films weren't your first choice. I mean, you in a sense you were forced to it as opposed to choosing it. When did you start enjoying it? You're not going to believe this. not until hon bari mang i didn't realize the value of being an actor but when i went up on the stage and received my award the audio just changed it hit you then the first time i realized that was weird the value of being an actor it's like someone took the muffler off how offer. much this profession means to me what all it had given me so all Korea. these years you were not passionate about cinema not at all what the Whoa. films for you then yeah somebody must have taken the uh... i mean it was just something i didn't like doing all these years all these years all the umrah jans and all the silsilas and all it was literally sleep walking through that entire phase yeah, so thank what you. were you hungry for if not stardom i yearned for not a home because by then i knew that it's not easy to make a home yeah meaning a husband children you know a family doesn't so have to mean a husband i mean independence was a huge thing you know so i wanted to be on my own and have my own house and my own place which i did that chance uh is this going to be a is that a long break yeah so it's, it's a full commercial break never read a book that especially back then that's wow it's what milk what film is that the woman who's that your on screen that's on top i'm a gym in 1976 which started with I didn't see him well. and subsequently your off screen association came in for a lot of speculation which has continued over the years 
what did his presence bring to you professionally? Well, as an actor, I was so-called reigning supreme. I had arrived, so to speak. And in many ways, I think I'm senior to him, you know. But standing in front of Amitabh Bachchan, the, you know, ultimate actor, was not easy. I'm sure. Because the moment I came to know that Amitji signed for Dhonjani, I was so paranoid. Because here, Divan had just released, you know, he was this phenomenal success. And, and everybody was like, you know, Amitji, Amitji. And you didn't know him before then? Well, I knew him as the oh. husband, you know. I mean, okay. I mean, first, of course, uh, boyfriend and then husband. But I didn't know him otherwise because we never really got a chance to sit and talk, you know. Okay. But when I started working with him, I was so nervous, so nervous. I remember once, I think I you know, marked up my lines and I was like really nervous. And he just says in this baritone voice, <laughs> So he comes to come dialogue. Yaad kar At least you learn the dialogue. And then when I saw him and the oh, yeah. way he worked and, and the way he was, Farma Bardar, as far as the director is concerned, I mean, it was all years and concentration and so much respect. I had never seen that before with anybody else. Hmm. So I really, really learned a lot. It changed my perception about what being on the sets. It was never a playground again. It was just unbelievable. It was something that I had to really sit up and say, hello, what is going on here? <laughs> it was just amazing. And for a girl who was who had no idea, you know, what professionalism is all about, what a baritone voice is all about, <laughs> how perfect diction and and perfect intonations and and perfect attitude and personality, not to mention. Do you did you pick up these things from him? I think, really speaking, you how do you learn? By watching people. No, no. Also, you have to look up to somebody. For sure. You have to appreciate somebody. You have to be fascinated some, with something which is yeah. over and uh, above average. Me too. I'm not impressed with the ordinary. Me too. Mediocrity really bores me. So he was like something I'd never seen before. So I said, hey, you better learn and get your act together or else. I had never seen him ever express pain. Ghore se giro, paar se giro. Baraf mein nangi paar jo. Whatever you do. Never. Palak ne chapke. During Ganges, that is Ganga Kisogan, he used to really be hurt. In fact, that dialogue is very ironic. He says, jab zun bade to puja bade. Like, the more he got hurt, the more he learned to take it all inside and just smile. That was something I also learned from. Mm -hmm. And personally? Personally, I think you can say, see, when you are fascinated by something, subconsciously, without even realizing it, you just pick up everything. And when I found this person, and I said, said this before, which I've never really, really met anybody like him, and mind you, he's a fellow Libran. I know. You know, and, and so are you. But you are something else. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Well, it's supposed to be something nice. I hope so. Nothing <laughs> negative. No, come on. You know what I feel about you. Um, so I said, Libra, to take it. Itne sare qualities just special hai, jalami ani banana hai. How come it is all puri marke ekyo puri bichadi? How can so many good qualities be bestowed upon one human being? Translates yeah. after. People come in front of you. People come and go in your life. It is up to you to recognize who you choose to imbibe the good qualities and the better qualities and what, how you want to allow that person to associate with you mentally, emotionally, physically. How much you want to learn from that person? How much you want that person to inspire you? It's all up to you. It's your choice. So right. It is absolutely your choice. And I'm not a fool. I'm intelligent, I'd like to believe so, at least. So when I see a good thing, I can recognize it. You know? Nine films you did together. Ten, actually. That's a long association. Oh, you can say that again. It's a long so fascinated as you were, did you in the process fall in love with him? 
absolutely. Duh, that's a dumb question. <laughs> I have yet to come across a single man, woman, child who can't help but fall completely, passionately, insanely, desperately, especially hopelessly in love with him. So why should I be singled out? Yeah, but you were the one that was speculated about with him. You want to know the truth? Yeah. This is headlines, okay? There was never a personal connection with him. You know? That's the truth. Never, ever? Never, ever. But then, uh, Amitabh never existed in your life personally. Is that what you're saying? In my mind, in my, uh, as an actor, yes, definitely. But you've had no association with him at no. all. So all that, the years and years of speculations, rumors, mm -hmm. uh, you uh, know, controversies. Where they're using. No truth in it? Not at all. It just didn't happen. That's, what can I say? That's, that's yeah, fine. That, why didn't you just come out and deny it? It is not worth denying. Well, I, what do I deny? I'm not in love with him? Of course I am. <laughs> what do you say? But this, you know, I'm not going to go into being a diplomat and say, okay, there are different kinds of love. There is a mother love and there is a sisterly love and there is a fan love. Dunya bhar ki love aap le lijega, okay? And add some more, okay? I feel that for that person. Bottom line. Really? So that's not the point that you, you don't have to be associated with that person personally. Yeah. You don't have to even have a conversation with the person, you know, to be able to allow that person to have a major influence in your life. Yeah, right. Like you said, bachpan mein koi profound moment hai, you carry that. If it's a negative moment, you become a serial killer. Yeah. You know, and he himself doesn't remember it till somebody, you know, reminds makes him lie on the couch and say, okay, go back, like you just did to me. <laughs> <laughs> but the fact remains that it's all a choice. Hmm. It's the choices that you really make that really mold you to the person that you become ultimately. And I made a choice and I'm glad I did. Boy, am I glad. And the choice was? The choice was to be associated with good human being like, oh, what more? A good human being. Well, I can go on and up. By the way, is this a show about me or Mr. Bachchan? No, no, it's very much about you. But the rumors were just going wild and left and right. And, you know, nobody ever came out with, with anything constructive. And which I think, you know, people needed some clarity on. Okay. Boom, boom. These commercial breaks. Where are we at here? Well, I've read, uh, yeah, I've read interviews of her. When was this interview done? This I think one? 90s. Mm. Rekha, the other woman. So, um, do you meet him? Oh, yeah, I see him uh, lots in functions. And, and these days, I really get to see him a lot at uh, award functions yeah, and things like that. Functions. And that's it, just at award functions. That's it? That's a lot. <laughs> Again, I said the moments have to be profound. You don't have to have a conversation or a rendezvous with Simi Garwal to know what Simi Garwal is all about as a person. You mm. associate with that person in your mind, heart and soul. In my case, I'm so lucky that it's all in my mind. <laughs> because then you can go crazy with your fantasies. What about the fact that he was a married man? How did that? Hello, what does that make it? That doesn't make any kind of a difference. Okay, let's take an, a, a religion, for instance. Take Islam, yeah, you know, Hinduism, or they're all religions. There's something to be respected. Mm -hmm. You can't say, yeah, Hindu, hai, to respect mm -hmm. I mean, a rose is a rose is a rose. A human being is interesting, period. I want to be having the honor to be associated with this person. Mm. So what is stopping me? I'm not here to go and, you know, break his home, so to speak. Mm. I'm here to be one of the lesser models who can just have a whiff of him and feel happy, you know? He's a very, very special human being, in case you don't haven't noticed. No, I have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you have. 
Okay, is there a rift between <laughs> you and uh, JIG and Amit G? I'm sure you Because have. of those rumors? Not at all. Okay. Not at all. Didi is much more mature, much more together. I've yet to come yeah. across a woman who's so together. Mm. She's got so much dignity, so much class. She's got a lot of strength. I admire that woman. Mm. Remember, we had an association before the so-called rumors and the media messed up the whole image. We were living in the same building. And we had a relationship with my Didi Bhai. She still is. No matter what happens, nobody can take that away. And thank God she realizes that too. I mean, whenever we meet, she's very sweet. She's not just civil, she's, she's just herself. But you think she, would, she remained unaffected by the rumors? Absolutely. She did. Among others, I mean, I'm not the only one who was associated with, let's face it. There were so many uh, other women, I mean, I'm not going to name them. No, we weren't going to. There were millions and millions and millions of them, and they continue to be, you know, often on screen or whatever. But uh, I don't think she's a petty person. I mean, I don't think she's so insecure to begin with. No, I don't think she is either. No. And if a woman is secure, it's really the man has given her the security, the feeling of security. Not necessarily. No? No. Not necessarily. It's got nothing to do with a man. It has to be doing everything with the person that she is. But listen, there must have been some effect of these rumors and stories, mm -hmm. whatever we say, because if they hadn't happened, today you could have still been his co-star. Huh? You think that's the reason he's not working with me? Then why? No, I don't think it's because of what it press, you not know, not a major thing for years. It just so happened. If anything, it's a plain simple fact that maybe something great didn't come along. You feel that's the only reason? Oh yeah, I know that's the only reason. This kind of uh, fascination, love, hopelessness, desperateness, as mm -hmm. you said, all these things. To have invested so much time in it and so much of yourself, is it worth it? Um, I have to correct you that it wasn't so much time at all, Simi. It was a moment. Okay. And that moment was so profound. Mm. My life took a 360 degree turn. If it was one life-defining moment, it was when my senses registered that he is so different from everybody else. And he can be a positive influence to not only me, but the likes of me and some. So, up, up, uh कोई मिलना जुलना नहीं है मिलना जुलना वही है जहाँ वहाँ मीटिंग लाइक यू यू गाइस डोंट मीट दैट्स व्हाट ही इज़ अ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज़ अ वंडरफुल एंड इज़ मेमोरी इज़ वेरी शार्प एंड इज़ वेरी स्वीट 
and of course the media doesn't help at all. <laughs> it just paints a different picture, a completely different picture. You see, people fall in love with the image of Rekha, the fantasy of Rekha. Tell me one person who's even falling in love with an image. Oh, I'll, I'll tell me somebody who's not married. No. Oh, no. <laughs> tell me one person, married. just one person. All married. All married. <laughs> I'm sorry. Most Thanks a lot, Simi. <laughs> okay, I'll look around at the others. But uh, I oh, want to... Don't. <laughs> Actually, don't. I want to first ask you, has anybody ever connected to the realness? I think um, it has to be both ways, you know. If you don't take one step forward, that person will not take another. And I am to blame. I, I do confess and I do agree. Mm. And all my other friends, you know, and my girlfriends to me too or anybody else, they were married at a very young yeah. age, early age. So they went partying or socialized or whatever, which came very naturally to them. That's right. I was single and I didn't have somebody to take me out on a date right. or take me out for dinners or have a social circle, that so kind to speak. Of like, in 1990, you took another gamble for happiness again when you married Mukhi Shakarwal. segue <laughs> I teased that in the beginning yeah and then again at the end <laughs> I mean I guess it would they, they slowed it, it down to make it look like she had a deep thought about it granted it yeah. when this came out it just came out in probably one part on television of not course three yeah. parts on YouTube right 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 um, yeah, a, oh. yeah, no there's a third part yeah, yeah. Um, oh, that's intriguing there's a lot there. This is very. This is this is very '90s Oprah. <laughs> Everything is one. Th how we talked to each other was very different back then. Like the stuff that's deemed appropriate uh, to like converse about in terms of like um, what a uh, a interviewer can mm -hmm. ask an interviewee about their personal life. Like a lot of that's kind of like off limits now. Mm -hmm. um, but <laughs> this is also it, what were you reading over there? While she was talking about I, Amitabh. Well, I had Because this seen, is 90... Yeah. Yes, 90... Was this 90 or... I think it was 2000? late 90s. All right. I yeah, got it. But anyways. I, I, I had read an interview somewhere, and it, do, it was read. I didn't hear it come out of her mouth, so it could have been a lie. But I had read an interview where she didn't just confess to her love for him, but where she had confessed that they had had an affair. You'd read that? I had read that somewhere. Hmm. Uh, again, people lie. Yeah. So, um, and, and it's also strange. I didn't, I didn't fully understand the answer she gave in regard to why she never refuted the allegations. Did you understand that? Me? Anybody? No, I was. I. Yeah. Uh, her her answer to to the oh yeah, it's just not the mics decide to not work sometimes. Hola. Yeah. Hello, 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 hello. Hello. Say something. Hello. hello. Okay. Keep hello. Going. I, if yeah. audio cut out there for a little while, sorry, guys. Yeah, I didn't. When she asked her the question about why all of those years when those rumors and speculations were circulating, did you not deny it publicly? She said that she, this is what she said. In yeah. this, it was that she didn't feel there was any um, reason, like she didn't, like, it was, um, what did she say? Like, why would she validate it with an answer is basically what she said. Because it was so ridiculous, uh, is what she says. Mm. Um, now, she's the one that it happened to, so obviously yeah. she's the person that you, I guess you should take her word. I don't know anything, so I can't be like, oh, that's that's a lie. Right. Obviously, I know what everybody has said, obviously. Mm. Right. Um, and it, it is obviously interesting that they have not worked together or anything since and i've not seen them together even though she says they've been together many times in terms of like award functions or other mm -hmm. stuff like that but yeah you know, <laughs> she says what she says yeah it's <laughs> she's she's the one it happened to right so it's who who am i to say anything right yeah 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 but yeah it is certainly um interesting because <laughs> it's at, at times just be based off of what you know it's like hmm are you are you just saying this? Are you just... Who knows? I don't. No. <laughs> I don't know anything. I, I just know all the rumors that have... Well, I don't know all the rumors. Who no, else but, was, who else was but Amitabh many. supposed to be involved with? Because she says there was a lot of people that were... 
Yeah. They, I know they that both a lot seem of to know actresses, uh, uh, women had crushes on Amitabh, but uh, Rekha and Amitabh was the yeah, yeah, big... sparkling pair that everybody, you know, sometimes wished that they were together um, because they looked so good. And then that's how the affair rumors were starting. And I was so young back then, I would just listen to my yeah. family of what, you know, they were. So, and that but, happened with... SRK Kajol, or no? Did that never happen? I that? don't know that in one. In terms of the, the affair rumors. That I don't know. Kajol I've heard pre- affair rumors with people with Shah Rukh Khan, people mm-hmm. with uh, Akshay, mm-hmm. people with Saif, people, yep. basically any leading any man. Lead actor. I've heard, <laughs> I've heard, whether they're true or not, mm-hmm. I've heard it, I think, with all of them. Mm-hmm. At least the big ones. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Not, I don't, I think I've heard like an affair with Ranveer. It's more the older ones. It's the older, yeah, the older ones. Yeah. So of like, of the SRK Salman Khan yeah, generation and yeah. before. I've heard stuff yeah. about them. The newer ones, like Shah- yeah. even though there might be like Shahids, the Ranveers. Ranveer, I just know was he was a ladies' man. He kind of just dated everyone. Yeah. But I I don't I don't remember. Sh- but all the older ones, I think I've heard stuff about, um, which is interesting. And then also that she's never read a book. Yes, that one. <laughs> yeah, that was shocking. <laughs> I haven't physically read a ton of books. I have listened to a lot. That's more of my ADD, ADHD. Mm-hmm. I, I, it's very difficult. I'm, I, what she said is actually very true. She says it feels like school if I have to sit down and read a book. Mm-hmm. That's very true. Uh, so I, I wouldn't shock me if she has ADD, ADHD maybe. or something like that. Yeah, that maybe just so. doesn't, the, To sit down. I love listening to books. Mm. Mm. Like whenever I did Uber Eats or Postmates or Mm -hmm. Amazon, I loved listening to audiobooks. Yeah. You had so much time to do that. But yeah, the fact that, especially in this time. So she grew up in what, 60s, 70s, 80s or whenever that was. Mm -hmm. That was was book time. (laughs) Major book time. There were no real audiobooks at that time. But she did say the reason she can get books read is she does have somebody read them to her. Mm -hmm. That's also weird. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> no, my no. sister would read me novels. Mm. And really? Yes, yes. Oh, wow. Because, Jeez. yeah, I mean, I just, because I guess I liked the fact to listen to somebody reading and I would, you know, go into the imagination yeah. world. And Anyways. Uh, There was also an, an, a very odd statement of every man, woman and child has fallen desperately, hopelessly and madly and passionately in love with Amitabh Bachchan. She used a lot of adjectives. Yes, and included <laughs> everyone on earth I mean, of at, all age ranges. I mean, at that time, you could probably make that statement in India about Amitabh and, and SRK. Well, this probably, I bet this was before SRK made his, because that was like 95 where he really took off, right? I guess. DDLJ time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I guess Amitabh was the uh, the man in India, so the angry young man. Like who was that in the nineties in, in in Hollywood, or or a little before that? Tom Cruise. No, he was nineties, right? Oh, he was eighties. That's 80s, when he eighties I mean, was, was when he got his big start. That's when he did with Brad Pitt. Like no, this was before Angelina um, Friends. I mean. The, not, not that he was in Friends. I'm talking to Jennifer Aniston. Oh. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Um, no, like Risky Business and Top Gun are 80s films. Are they really? Yeah. God, he's old. Um, yeah, that, that was an interesting statement, too. Yeah. The, the fact that she used so many adjectives. Yes. And it included often, men, women, and children. It doesn't help her case. No. <laughs> because when you do that, that's like a symptom of, like, you're trying to, like, make no, this thing and in your I, head. No, I... I I appreciate her honesty. I know if I had worked with an actress who said the feelings that she was saying she felt, I would be very hesitant to work with that actress again. Yeah, I mean, she clearly loves him. And yeah. Obviously. Oh, yes. uh, with yeah. unashamed without, bravado. I think yes. if he was yes. with Jaya, they probably might have been. She would 100%. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know yeah. what his statement yeah. on She's just honest was, about it. There are some, I have a couple of friends. They like just the idea of love and mm-hmm. they just fill themselves with romance but all alone. And that's enough. And that's enough. And that's right. that. Because I've even heard them say to me that if I go into a relationship with the guy or girl that I'm attracted to, that relationship will be 
now in reality and it would suck in my head it's a it's a novella it's right. a, mm. a beautiful film that i get to experience every day all alone it's called um I, I there was a term what i'm um you know you call them mirabai or you're just in love with the idea, the idea. of love and yeah. that that is that entertains you in your own head so and that's what they all want so i i get the feeling whenever i looked at or listened to rekha and especially in this interview just feels that she just loves being in love yeah. with amitab and is in her head and that's a beautiful place to be mm-hmm. and that's and this is also very different we don't normally watch interviews that are more personal about people because that's not usually what I'm interested in. No, I'm I w- I've been waiting for it and I don't think it's going to no, happen. I don't think you're going to get talking about craft. I don't think you're going to get in this. No. Uh, this is 90s. This is no. just the, the the kind of talk show mm-hmm. is just all about personal and gossip more than right. really anything of substance in right. terms of like per- profession. Yeah. <laughs> That's what these shows were for. Yeah, exactly. Uh, back in the day. So it's <laughs> it's different for us. I would much rather listen to her talk about the craft than her personal life. Because I don't much care about anybody's personal life, except for mine. Everybody else can fuck off. <laughs> Anyways, uh, uh, on to part three. Josh! <laughs>